Coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight up. Though. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, she's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of nine wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 108 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, 6 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA, Tisha, the Tiny Tornado Torres. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. All right, round one is underway, and she is as devastating a knockout threat as this division has ever seen. If you want to, how about the wow? Several times in this fight, she's gone back to the well with that. She is landing it over and over again, so why would she abandon it? It is such a dominant technical skill that every time she throws it, it lands. She's a great combination striker, and she sets up that high kick as good as anybody we've ever seen. Another beautiful takedown win. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, she and she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's there. Oh! I can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, and with conviction, she moves right into half guard. Without much effort, she was able to pass from her full guard right into half guard. 
big kick. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. What you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout, near-perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 58 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, Assassin! Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it. Coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight. It's always so clean, and then outside leg kick, every combination will end with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 13 wins, 8 losses. She stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, Carolina Kovacavich. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 10 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 108 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Well, her last 
win by knockout will be a tough act to follow as round one gets underway here. She really busted onto the radar of UFC fans by knocking out her last opponent. So now with momentum and the winning streak in tow, she will try to do it again. Gotta get a win here, and certainly a finish would be useful as well. Beautiful body kick. Oh man, that's what we call shin on skull. Several times in this fight, she's gone back to the well with that hit. She is landing it over and over again, so why would she abandon it? It is such a dominant technical skill that every time she throws it, it lands. She's a great combination striker, and she sets up that high kick as good as anybody we've ever seen. Big kick land. Man, these kicks by her are just solid, and she is showing no signs of slowing down. No signs of slowing down. She can throw as many kicks as her opponent will allow her. Big head kick. Another massive head kick land. Massive head kick. Oh, big kick lands flush. Now a knee. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll as this fight moves on. Liver kick. Oh, you know about her kick. She's got him going tonight. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's gonna have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Oh. Nice body to run up the open. Oh! She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. about the volume of knees in the clinch to the body by this young woman. She's doing a great job of digging those knees to the body before her opponent realizes that she just got hit with one knee, another one is following right behind her. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. All right, so a lot of high-level striking in that last round, but the big shot, of course, to the head that stunned her opponent nearly got her out of there. I mean, she hurt her bad. I, I can't believe that we are going to another round. I thought it was over. She landed it perfectly. Usually that's enough to end a fight. Unfortunately, the round goes on. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go with round two. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Oh! Wow, what a hit. She can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Oh!
Well, that's a knockout they'll be talking about for quite some time. What a moment for this fighter here tonight. The official decision is Ladies in. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Alvarez called to stop to this contest at one minute, 30 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout assassin. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.